I'm live again, you guys. Back in the studio, I'm not gonna talk about. So, uh, I'm gonna read something to you guys, and I want you guys to decide for what you think about it. Somebody made a really interesting comment um, saying something along the lines of delusional and get ready. Like, and they basically alluded that Netflix aren't the ones that have the ability to be able to cancel these shows that is Disney. Well, this is gonna be really interesting to see where things go. I, I think it's deeper than that. It's more of a contractual thing that's going on. But let me read the letter to you. This is a letter from Jeff Lowe. Jeff Lowe, if you don't know who he is, dude has read some amazing stuff. And on top of that, he's also one of the main producers, facilitators. Every single time I've gone to any convention, he's been the one that's presented, like the new up and coming actors and actresses and everything that's kind of been presented with all these Netflix shows. But I'm gonna read this real quick and then I'll reference to it a little bit later on. It's never been done before. Four separate television series, each with a different super talented, super show runners, writers, directors, cast, and crew coming out months apart. And then, then they went and met in a single event that set apart the heart of New York City. We called them the Defenders. And together we were thrilled by the stories of Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and even the Punisher joined in. They said it couldn't be done, but Marvel assembled an amazing team to write, produce, direct, edit, and score 13 seasons and 161 one-hour episodes. Take a moment and go online and look for the dazzling list of actors and writers and directors and musicians who grace us with the very best of the craft. We loved each and every minute of it, and we did it all for you, the fans, who cheered for us around the world, made it a hard work worth it. So thank you. On behalf of everyone at Marvel Television, we couldn't be more proud and grateful to our audience. Now, this is the key thing. Listen very carefully, okay? Our network partner may have decided they no longer want to continue telling stories of these great characters, dot, 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 but... You know Marvel better than that. As Mark Murdoch's dad once said, the measure of a man is not how he gets knocked to the mat, it's how he gets back up. End. To be continued, dot, dot, dot. I know what that means. Y'all tell me. Somebody tell me what that means. Because I can tell you what my theory is. My theory is this joint is either going to Hulu or it's going to the DC Plus streaming service. And they just can't publicly say it because they haven't technically uh, announced the official official for each one of the ones that are going to Disney Plus. Nor have they mentioned like what stuff is going to the Hulu service based on the IP. But, I mean, I'll reread it one more time. Our network partner vis-a-vis -vis netflix may have decided they no longer want to continue telling tales of these great characters dot 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 meaning that netflix probably was like you know what I, I either one they got taxed and they had to pay a certain amount of supplemental amount of money to maintain the contract to continue to go and facilitate it and then they probably couldn't hold it or it was like, nah, this just can't be something that can actually work. Or it's something else that we can't foresee and that we can't even talk about. And we don't even know. We have no idea, you know, the in-betweens. But regardless of the fact, Netflix dropped it. They decided to drop it. Maybe they got pushed out. Maybe they were like, well, you know what? I don't want to just completely lose it. So I'm just going to cut it before you guys take it. We don't know. We have no idea. But at the end of the day, from what he just said... He's saying openly they no longer want to continue telling these tales, which is very true because on the, bruh, when Daredevil Season 3 came out, the week before, no, yeah, the week before, they canceled uh, uh, Luke Cage, and then they canceled Iron Fist, and then the day after, like the day legit after all the giant premiered, they canceled Daredevil Season 3. Why would you do that? Like, why would you go and openly do that? It's like almost like, this is one of your best IPs. Why do that? And so it's, it's evident that they chose to make that choice. But then the follow up with that is, but you know Marvel better than that. As Mac Murdoch's dad said, measure of a man is not how he gets knocked to the mat. It's how he gets back up. And then to be continued, dot, 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 exclamation mark, Jeff Lowe and all of us at Marvel Television. Now, one other thing I was going to mention to you guys, think about it like this. Runaways is right now on Hulu exclusively. Cloak and Dagger, one of the better shows, second season, is literally going to be on Freeform, but it's going immediately to Hulu. And then the other part of that is why not 
just put them up there. Like, why not call it Marvel Knights and put the whole entire, you know, rest of them up there? Because, like, Hulu doesn't have any limitations either. Like, Hulu, in terms of, like, you know, violence and gore, if you look at, like, The Handmaid's Tale, you look at certain things like um, The Misfits, there are no limitations to what Hulu can actually show. So they can go as dark and gritty as what the DC streaming service does with, like, Doom Patrol, of course, with Titans. So it's possible that that's where things are going to go. And that's where I'm more leading towards. I don't see them going to the Disney Plus just because I think the Disney Plus is going to showcase all of these you know, major actors in their own television series. I think they're going to try to complement that more so than bring this level of like gore and greediness and and darkness it'd be better service honestly on hulu more so than it would be on the disney plus platform but let me know what you guys think about what jeff Loeb said shout out to jeff shout out to the marvel television series and shout out to hulu um not hulu man I'm a <laughs> shout out to netflix for even you know making this be a thing um but i do know for a fact that disney has more strings that they can pull than netflix could even dream or imagine regardless of how much money netflix has generated but uh i was going to the chat real quick what's up ty thank you disney for that look at your screen uh net network partner would be netflix that's what i'm saying um i can't hulu in canada oh no i'm gonna send money Disney streaming platform service. They're going to find a way of being able to push that so you guys can be able to do it. Uh, PS4 name. I told you. It's Earl uh, Earl Leg 423. E-A-R-L-L-E-G-G 423. That's my um, PS4 and my Xbox uh, gamer tag. So if you want to go follow me there. But yeah. So just so you guys don't, don't if you don't believe me. There it is. So... It's all in black and white. We'll see what happens from there. This is on Marvel's main website, coming straight from their, uh, their <laughs> Twitter. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I can't type it just because I, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> I mean, I can try. Nah, it won't even let me type anything. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later on. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. If you enjoyed this announcement, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell button because whatever comes